remarkable zeal for prayer. Always praying fervently for both her immediate and extended family members. In 1992, when the EP church split, Aunt Mercy, together with her late zealous husband, A.C. Amenu, joined the transformed group EP Church of Ghana, now Global Evangelical Church. Her husband was among those who were arrested and thrown into police cells in Bowe in the heat of events. Aunt Mercy and her prayer group stood firm to inspire the passion of members worship under hostile conditions. He was a sincere prayer warrior and ministered to the spiritual needs of church members. As a zealous and dedicated member, in 1996, the church nominated her to a position of a presbyter. She duly served and discharged her duties diligently for several years and the new presbyters were ordained. Aunt Mercy not only professed her faith, but also lived in accordance with its principles. In 2010, when Aunt Mercy moved to Accra to live with her children and grandchildren after the death of her husband, she fellowship with the Global Evangelical Church Glory Chapel at the Old Town. Aunt Mercy was a staunch Christian and participated in all church gatherings. Although her age and health sometimes posed a challenge, she never ceased going to church and participating in all church-related activities, remaining faithful to her call and to her peaceful demise on that faithful Sunday morning, the 28th of January, as she prepared for church. Auntie Mercy was formidable and like an, an eagle, tirelessly striving to shield her hard eggs, a force to reckon with, and beside her late husband, A.C. Amenu. Auntie Mercy was a victorious and virtuous woman who instilled deep moral values into her children and everyone around her. She was fondly called Amenu Atta Henri. She remained a pillar of support for her children, grandchildren, and the entire family, embodying the qualities of every child, embodying the qualities every child hopes for in a mother and a grandmother. She loved her grandchildren so much that last year she traveled all the way to the United States of America to pay them a visit. Auntie Mercy left behind five children, Mrs. Rosmond Kwao, Mrs. Irene Urusu, Mabel Amenu, Mr. Francis Amenu, and Mrs. Believe Aniabo. Auntie Mercy saw her 22 grandchildren and nine great-grandchildren to the third generation. We hope and pray that the good Lord recognizes her works as a faithful servant and bless her with eternal peace and rest. God be with you, Auntie Mercy, until we meet again. Goodbye from your family. Rest.
And the final one from the Global Evangelical Church, Victory Chapel at Bafu, Mebiasem. Miako, Amemuti Konya, Edma, Jovia, Obo, Velia, Novi, Novi Obo, Eye Tonlea, Global Evangelical Church, Victory Chapel at Bafu. Yo, Mere Kuku, Mama Yovio, Bonwa, Afode, Novi Otepe, Ta Efia, the children are taking it grandchildren and then global evangelical church victory chapel apart from in psm that if you but if you play mama your view but play global nyanyue hamia victory chapel apart from in psm we have three tributes to take now thank you
we already miss you so much. And although they say time allows us to deal with the pain, we can still not imagine the house without you. All your children will miss your jokes and your dance moves. As we navigate life without you, we find solace in the lesson you imparted, the values you instilled, and the love you show showered upon us. Though you may no longer be with us in physical form, your spirit lives on in the countless lives you touched and the legacy of love you leave behind. We miss you dearly, our beloved mother, and the void left by your absence is immeasurable. Yes, we take comfort in knowing that you are now resting in peace in the presence of your maker, our God. Where eternal love and peace abound, and no illness, no suffering, gnashing of teeth. We bless God for giving you to us for seven to six good years. Don't forget to extend our warmest regards to Daddy, our sister Anita, our brothers Kennedy and Maxwell, and all the loved ones. We are always upset when death strike a family. And this is un understandable. We are saddened by our feelings of isolation, anxiety, and uncertainty. Let us, however, convert our fear into trust, our sorrow into pleasure, our loneliness into divine fellowship, and call out to God our comforter as we mourn our beloved loss. We would, have, we would have wished that, that you were still here to see all your grandchildren grow, to know you and benefit from your shared love. Rest in peace, dear mother, knowing that your love will forever echo in our hearts till we meet again. Same journey, da. Afajo are. Thank you. Kids from the grandchildren. Mama, I love you. Followed by Global Evangelical Church, Victory Chapel, and Park Community Center. And then we'll end with Global Evangelical Church, Glory Chapel, which I will repeat. of your passing exactly a week after leaving Ghana was a shock to young words. Something I could never have anticipated, not even in my darkest dreams. The day before you left us, when we spoke, you mentioned how asthma was troubling you, but you reassured me as usual that you would overcome it and remain strong. You urged me not to worry, Assuring me you'll be all right, implying you we're heading to a place free from pain and sickness and full of joy. As I write this, a whirlwind of emotions flood my being. I never imagined I'll be penning a tribute to you on this day. Despite the agony of reminiscing about our shared moments, 
I cannot forget the 31st night, 2023, when we returned home from church. And you were so thrilled you made it to 2024. That the dreams and promises cut short. I want to pause and honor your life, even amidst my grief. You were an extraordinary blessing to me and my family. I express my gratitude for not only embodying the love of a grandmother, but also that of a mother. Thanks to you, I had the privilege of experiencing the love of two maternal figures. During my early years, when mommy was occupied with studies and nurturing the newborn, he selflessly moved to join her on university campus and cared for me. I fondly recall the stories of how you fed, bathed, dressed, and comforted me, even sharing my tears when I was inconsolable. Your nurturing presence enveloped me in the most comforting way. Even in my adulthood, you continue to attend to my every need, no matter how trivial, until your strength began to wane. I'm grateful to you for being one of my pillars of support. Your willingness to fly across continents just to stand by me when I needed you the most meant the world to me. I cherish and adore you deeply, Grandma. Though I may not have vocalized it often, I hope my actions spoke volumes about my love for you. Today, I celebrate your strength, resilience, peace, perseverance, and unwavering faith in God. You inspired me in countless ways, and I vow to continue to make you proud. As you often said in truth, Man worry why. Baby, I be ye. I mean, me, baby. God knows best, and all shall be well. Finding solace in the belief that you are now peacefully resting in the arms of our Heavenly Father, I take comfort. Keep watching over us, cheering us on until we reunite. That you will forever hold a special place in my heart. And I love you.